Thanks for joining me for another Airbrush Asylum video. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to airbrush a Grim Reaper using the Grim Reaper template by Airshot Stencils as well as this texture template. So this video tutorial is split up into two parts. Part one, which is this video, is going to show you how to use the template to sketch your design on complete your underpainting and I'm going to tone over the artwork with the colour of the cloak and in part two I'm going to continue to further detail the artwork, do all the highlights, show you how to complete the smoke flame and of course the entire Reaper artwork. So be sure to check out part two once you've finished part one of this video. Let's get into the tutorial right now. Okay so I've already based up my canvas with a graphite grey by Trident and I'm just going to position my reaper. Now I'm going to be spraying in the darker areas and for that I'm using a transparent black. Now because I've got the grey on there this is going to show up so if you were just to base this canvas in black then this wouldn't work it'll just disappear so that's why I use the grey and that way I can also add a bit of texturing as well. So I just want to go around all those areas. I'm going to refine the design so it's not 100%. I'm not going to worry too much about it. So essentially this is going to be my sketch. So it saves a lot of time using these templates rather than just having to sit there and project it all up and trace it out. done with that. Don't need heaps of coverage but to check it just uh, lift up a corner and I can see that's done pretty well. It's got some really good coverage and that's obvious enough so I can remove that now and you can see I've already got a really cool looking Grim Reaper. Now as with a lot of my other videos I'm going to come in now with the texture template and texture up around the canvas just to add a bit of effect just so it's not just plain. That's why I love using these texture templates. They're also really handy to actually texture areas of like say a skull. You can texture the bone. You can also use them for countless other effects. So I've always got a stack of them in my collection. Again, just using that transparent black and that's showing up well enough on this graphite gray. So you don't have to use graphite gray. You can use any particular base color as long as it's not too dark so that you can still see the transparent black. I just find that the greys work really well with this style of artwork. Now just continuing with that texture template, I've got white in the airbrush now and just want to add a bit more texture to the edges of that, just a bit brighter. Okay so now it's time to render with the white so I'll start to add some detail in and Essentially I'm going to use this white now to sketch out my design in more detail. I'm not going to go over all of these areas with the transparent black. The idea is to keep them in. Just establishing all the features at the moment. If you can't do this freehand, then grab yourself a reference. Just do a Reaper search. Up nice and close to work in the teeth. Again, I'm leaving that gap in between those teeth. It's pointless if we just go straight over the top of all of the transparent black, we don't want to do that. So you can see I'm painting in the highlights, leaving those darker sections. So just putting in my underpainting for this design.
even though the top of the head there is in shadow from the cloak, I'm going to paint that in regardless. I'm not going to go as bright so I know that where that shadow line is and I'll leave that shadow line in there. Remember you can always grab the template again and re-establish that shadow if you do lose it but the reason I'm going a little bit lighter and putting that in is because then I can drop shadow onto that and you still see something under there rather than just a black void. I want this to sit over the top of that jawbone there that we've got drawn in. So you can see this section here is getting a little bit flat but that's okay. I'll come back in and re-render that later. I still want to build up a nice tone just so I have a good base for the base colour to sit on top of. Once I do add in a colour for the cloak. spray in white for the tips of the blade. So I actually painted this in as if it was part of the cloak. So I'll just tweak that. And we can still have a bit tapering off there. Just bring that down a little. Just going to use a bit of fine line tape and mask up on the top of the blade just so I get that nice defined edge. So if you keep it taut in one spot, especially this tape here, it's like a vinyl tape, and just run your finger along while you twist the tape. It takes a little bit of practice, but then you can get a nice decent curve. Just trying to get to the point where I'm happy with the positioning. Might go a little bit higher like so. Snap it off like that. I'll put one under here as well so that we can finish off that little point. It might be easier just to break a little piece off like so. Bit of masking tape now to protect overspray. And this one curve it up so that way it doesn't sit flat on the surface. You've got less chance of any overspray making a mark. I mean, even if you did, you could always put the grey back over and just re-texture. It'd be pretty easy. Or just texture over the top of it and it'll pretty much disappear that way. Now I'm going to hit this top edge. Come out from here. And while I've got it masked up, I'm just going to come in with the transparent black. Just dust down off that edge, just aiming for the edge of that template. And the same along here. And the rest I can render in freehand later. Let's take that off now. See how it looks. Now this part I'm going to turn into a little bit of timber. So I'm not going to mask this because it can be a little bit uneven. Brighten this part up as well. Even that out. Start rendering the hands. Remember they're bones, so just paint in the sections and leave those darker areas. Little dagger strokes to create that timber appearance. We 
Working back on that cloak. Again, quick dagger strokes. Take a little bit of practice so don't get disheartened. Brightening up some of those highlights. So you can see I just worked in that white in around the cloak there and it's adding a bit of that texture in there as well so it's just not flat and by having that that uh, highlight moving into that darker area that's going to allow the the color that I put on for the cloak to appear and lay on that section there rather than just disappearing in the black you'll see what I mean later when I add the color in So with this part here now, I'm going to get the texture template again and just add in some of the texture. So it looks like it's kind of breaking away from the Reaper. blow some over the cloak make it look a bit more grungy you can see how much that transforms it more freehand as well and then I'll run a bit of smoke flame coming off that Brighten up the eyes. Look a bit meaner now. I think I like the glow. Now the Reaper template does have some edges that you could utilize for fire. So that would work. However, I'm gonna use my fire tool set. This is the mini set and just work them in a lot easier. Just a little bit more on there as well. The similar reason, like I said earlier, with the base color sitting on top of that white. Let's give you an indication of how it's looking so far. Okay, so now going ahead and using Trident Blue, I'm going to coat over the cloak. Not going to worry about the highlights, I can put them back in. Just 
just trying to limit my overspray on the actual Reaper skull. Do the same with the blade, up nice and close around where that blade is. Now I'll just mix this with some reducer. There's no transparent base in this one. You see I'm not losing my detail, I can still see what's going on underneath. This is what I want. Work that over the flames as well. So to see how I completed this artwork, be sure to check out part two of this video and to continue your learning, check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here and until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye for now.